Welcome back, everyone, to episode 12 of Town of Cheeseburg. More of a city now than a town, but it is still rather small. We're packed in by the coast here, and no real large sprawl yet. Uh, today, I want to put in a uh, cargo terminal, cargo ship terminal here. We already got uh, last episode the uh, passenger terminal bringing our tourists in from outside. Population's up to almost 20, 20k already. So, without further ado, let's uh, get started on this. Uh, let's save that uh, decorative clump of rocks. Never know when you're gonna need them. And uh, let's eke out a little area here for our terminal. And we want it to be about the same height as this area over here. I don't uh, create too large of a tsunami getting this set up here uh, let's see we need to extend our key wall here Thud it makes is really loud. There's one thing I hate, and that's noise. I see, I hate noise. Uh, let's see here. Let's move that nude over a little bit. Okay, we got a nice flat area here, and probably a lot larger than it needs to be. Though we could use it as a extra room for sewage treatment. We've got room for one more there, it looks like. Uh, cargo ships. One of these. I don't need one of these with a the rail line. Because we do have a, a nearby cargo railroad just up the road. Would be a little redundant. And we can stick this out here in case we also want to grow this way with more terminals. All right, they always go at weird heights on these things. Also, it's a lot further out than it needs to be. Wrong. Um. Okay, I'm going to select that. I'm going to bring it on. Doesn't need to be that far out. Get down around Lowell. Yeah, that looks much better. Put a little lighthouse on the point here. Don't run into these rocks, whatever you do. I'll have to go, uh, to the workshop, see so if I can find a lighthouse. That would be a nice little place for one. Uh, you could pretend like it was out there a long time ago. They just built the port around it. 
Okay, now let's bring our excess. It's going to be this road here. See the uh, cargo train stations right there. And let's see. Straight slope. Why? Why does it do that? Level with the ground. Yeah, that looks good. Don't think it needs to be quite that long, but we shall see. Why does it do that? I know that always has trouble with heights here. It's a bit annoying. Grab all those nodes and bring them up to that height. See, that's what I wanted to happen. So why didn't you let that happen? Very odd indeed. See how's this road looking? Actually, it didn't come out too bad. First, first try there. Okay. And now we need to fit out a loop here. Our trucks to go around uh, one way, I think. Hmm. I give them a little length. Yeah. Why not? See if I can switch this road out here. The uh, mod seems a little iffy about it. So I haven't got Bob installed. I gotta see about doing that as well. Uh, let's let me select a road. Dang it. Be in the road mode. Road mode. Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. Took a little while for it to figure that out, but eh, it worked. Uh, let's uh, see if I can do something about the trees here. Yeah, I can do these, but let me do those. Such a bother. doing here uh, if this is a one-way loop here there's no need for a two two way road here doesn't need to be four lanes either uh, let's continue by creating these a full loop there. Alright, let's see about straightening out this 
intersection. Come on. You know, that's really odd. Let's see if I can get this to straighten out here a little bit. There's some weirdness going on here. It's not Halloween yet. All right, that looks okay. The trees going up here. Okay. Yeah, they're the same trees. No problem. Now uh, we can attach this road here. And that's a two lane, two way. Excellent. We had a little traffic light there where that we're not going to be needing. Uh, let's see, that will be a yield, and the other two can go through. I'll leave the crosswalks. Alright, now we have this little section here. Two lanes going in, coming around, going out, and we don't need to. Uh, Another time around the loop here, so I think I'll force these guys to go straight through. They really need to come back, then go all the way up to the traffic circle and come back around. This would just cause traffic problems. Yeah, let's uh, expand this a little bit. Uh, get everything straightened out there. Uh, let's move the green one further in. This has a little curve there. This little lump here is uh, annoying, but what you gonna do? Yeah, I think that'll work. Um, I think I might want to press that up a little bit. See, that'll be solid line. Uh, so I'll put that in there, solid. Solid and dashed. Dashed all. Oh. What is that line doing there? Okay, I think we can uh, do something with this. Make that a uh, solid median there with the grass. 
Now let's see if we can get a little curb going in there. Want to match it? Sure. Make it match. It looks neat. Make that gravel. I think the gravel. Nah, the color doesn't quite match, does it? Ruined? Ruined. 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 Ruined, dumbass. Oh, Brian, don't be cruel. Nope. Even that's the wrong color. Pavement. Eh. Still, I'll put, I'll put grass there. It looks nice. Herb size on medium. Medians. Yeah, like that. Elevation. It's the same size as the existing curves. Offset from median. I'll do that. Now, do I want to give it soft corners? No, no need to. Just go straight into the uh, the concrete there. All right. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe stick a couple trees in there. Uh, we need proper tree anarchy on. I don't think it'll allow me to do it because of the uh, tree replacing function going on here. All right. Live and learn. Get on with it. Let's get water going in here. For some reason, water pipes don't like going downhill. Why, I do not know. Alright, that he is hooked up. And let's uh, fix the cliff here. It looks a little... Severe. I can use a, that road as a uh, a guide. The brush will work right up against it. Decorate the hillside a little bit. All right. We have the terminal. I was looking at my um, junctions here for the trains. And it's not really great. I don't think we have a way for 
because of this junction here, this does not really hook up to this. There's no way for it to get there. It's, uh, these, um, points here are past where we can do this. So I think I need to add a connection here that will allow this to go up that way. Uh, same, same sort of thing is happening here. No way for this to get up this way. So I think on both sides, I need to add a little curved piece of track. Just to make it a little more, uh, complete. Uh, let's see, I can do it. Um, Uh, let me turn that off. Turn anarchy. Oop, got to turn proper tree anarchy off. Else the trees won't disappear. Can't have that. Okay, if that goes there. That goes there. I'll come back to that. Do the same thing over here. see about uh, fixing that into a curve sure we got tracks going on both sides here it's a little tight let's see about uh, Evening that out a little bit. Sloop. And I think I need to spread that out a little bit. Same thing here. This is looking really funky down here. A uh, blue one. Well, I don't know if that's going to work exactly. That is a really a funky lineup. We don't have any ties in there, but we'll do what we can do here. Yeah, let's move the green one back. It's pretty darn severe, that's for sure. This looks so funky. No, I don't. I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. It was just a little too close there. Now I got all sorts of extra
nodes that I don't need. All right, uh, let's see. doesn't just adjust itself. I, for what it's worth, that part looks halfway decent. Could come up a little higher here. This node here. Quite a steep little hill here. It's really funny looking, but, you know, I think it'll work for the time being. Make it look even neater. I may come back here later and just flatten this out. All right. Uh, we need to get this. This area is a little flatter. Much easier here. Crazy. So do we have tracks? Yes, we have tracks. And we have tracks there. All right, I think that'll work. Let's uh, run this a little bit, see if... Uh, We get any trains going up that way from here, which will be the big test. I right, got this guy using that. That's nice. Coming in from out of town, he's stopping here. See, we we do have a quite a crowd of people using those trains. We have a little cross over there. But be holding up traffic. Anybody gonna use these green green trains here? Can't tell. 
Anyway, the trains have choices there now. See, the, is the green line. I think the green line comes from the suburban station here. Uh, let's see, trains. Hmm. Got a lot of people waiting there, but it doesn't look like I have a line running. That's weird. I thought it did have a line running out there. Let's get rid of that. Alright, we've got the blue right line that's running... Just runs out to the farm, it looks like. And out to the wood production, and then just turns around. Okay, so that line is covering that small area. Where's our green line running now? I think it just runs from from here out there. Green line. Now it's a good thing I did add that uh, spur there. I think up until this point that green line wasn't even getting out there really. That's uh, servicing those two places. I'm sort of using this as a multi-line terminal. I might look about putting in a a train terminal with, with multiple lines. I don't have one here in my list. It's one of those things I'll have to uh, get from the workshop. But until then, I need a way for these people, way out here, in the burbs, uh, to get in there, to the main station. So let us make a line. Create a new line. Add stop. Complete line. Great. Uh, let's see, do my color. Well, orange is fine. It'll work. We got a room here. Passenger train. And let's see. We're Really only two stops, so probably don't need a lot of vehicles. Let's go with two. Let's see, where will it appear? So we've got lots of people waiting to use that train station. Stop number two. Yeah, it could be most of those people are waiting for the uh, intercity line to come in. Now let's speed things up here. Right, 
those are the two trains that I spawned. An inner city train. Bringing in a, a load. Look at the ants scurry. Yeah, it looks like uh, most of them are waiting for the inner city. And of course, all of these people are coming in from out of town. Okay, that's our line, so... Yeah, we cleared that out. They're using it. That's good. Slow it down here again. Let's see where we're at. The population's growing slowly. Uh, I forgot to see if the cargo terminal was working. Oh, yeah, I gotta do something about the bus lines running down this way. So I did add on to the end of this road, which was like a U-turn for the buses. We got uh, two lines running down here. And we might as well put a stop in there. Just one. Coming down this way anyway. Check the speeds on here. Looks like they're running really l slow here. Uh, parking, parking. I do have to watch the parking because these four lane, tree lined roads allow parking, and I don't want the parking on the streets. Uh, speeds. Yeah, that shouldn't be 30 on that road. It should be 45. Forty-five and eh, twenty-five. I think we can go to thirty here. All right. Where's cargo ships? Let's speed this up and get. We can afford to speed it up. We don't have any demand growing at the moment. Still gaining people here. The amount of money that we lose fluctuates wildly. It's going along with the uh, industries. They uh, jump up and they jump down. All right, we got some ship cargo trucks coming in, dropping off cargo. That should cause a ship to spawn here pretty shortly. Usually the way it happens. Yep. Doesn't come in from outside, it just spawns and heads on out. Right, it looks like it's working. It'll take quite a while before a cargo ship actually comes in from outside. Just fine, we're exporting, just selling stuff. All right. 
It's nighttime. Let's uh, take a little, little look at our town at night here. A free cam. I should go down to standard speed here. Yeah, it's not not a bad looking little town. I'd sort of like the uh, building up into the hills like this. Yeah, it gives it a lot of character. I'm glad I didn't uh, flatten this whole area out before building. There's a lot, a lot of Club 801s around here. I think uh, the tourists get confused. Yeah, that all looks good. How quiet it gets when you get away from the uh, touristy area here. Might be a nice opportunity for like a uh, nature reserve type park up there. Traffic circles running okay. Speaking of traffic, I think it's time we hit the bullet and uh, turned off the spawning. Just to get an idea of uh, just how well we've actually done with our traffic here. So let's pause this and uh, take a look at our traffic. 85%. Uh, I'm going to turn this off. Easy mode, less traffic. So no despawning. Hard mode, bigger traffic jams. It seems to be a really good way of um, getting the, the weak points in your system to sort of pop out. Right now, everything is really nice. You can see there's one point there that might end up being bad, but let's run it at high speed here and see if uh, our red zones increase. Specifically, we're looking at uh, areas like, uh, well, got some red going in here. This is getting redder up here. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. Traffic's still going through there fine. Might have a problem here building. Definitely going to have to do something about that, I think. I think it's... Uh, yeah, I just see there's a very red spot there. I don't think it's traffic. It's, uh, I might have an extra node in there. And they're stopping and slowing down. Uh, this, yeah, they're backing up a little bit there. That could be something to look into. This just busy. Not, nobody's really backing up there. Yeah, this could be a problem. Lots of stopping and starting going there. All in all, though, it's not it's not bad at all. It's, everything is running nicely. A little red going on there. And I don't even have a town here. It's just busy. These people coming uh, from it, off the map on this way. Going up there and... Vice versa. Let's see, we're at eighty-three percent, still running. Yeah, 
Yeah, it doesn't look like... Uh, things are going bad. Everything is running fine there. People slowing down on that curve there, but that's not a problem. All right, let's see about the... Uh, yeah, this is getting redder and redder. I'm going to have to do something about that. Let's uh, pause simulation for time here. I think the problem is all these uh, planes turning and everything. And I think I want to set this up. Uh, quick setup, high priority junction. Control click. Let's see, what did that do? Yeah, it took out the uh, crossovers. We only have uh, a turn there, which is fine because we got a traffic circle right there. If, if they need to go that way, they just go up and around. It's one of the advantages of the having traffic circles at various locations is... Uh, you can make a roadway without any crossover turns. Just have them go up to the traffic circle and come back. It's not that big of a deal. And it keeps everything moving. Let's see, the other side of the road. Yep. Yeah. That's all it did is get rid of those, those crossovers there. I think that'll probably take care of that problem. Yeah, they're moving through there real good. Of course, they could always move the problem further down here where people aren't crossing over. They're uh, making changes on their route. So we'll have to take a pay close attention to that one as well. Let's see if we can get the, this guy taken care of. Pause. Yeah, it looks like we have an extra node in there somewhere. Get rid of that. And let's spread it this out a little bit. Let's move the, the green over. So we got a nice curve going on there. Uh, we can move the red back a little bit. Alright. Yeah, let's make sure this is still set up correctly. Yeah, the traffic's not that heavy, so we don't really need to have a yield going on there. Alright, I think that'll do for that. Let's go back into our traffic view here. Alright, that thing is... Clear. This guy is a. It's moving okay. You can see it, but we do have some stoppage, and everybody. Well, not everybody, but a lot of them are crossing over. I may need to do a priority on that. Let's see what that does. Usually when you do that, you, you're shifting your problem further down to an intersection that uh, does have a crossover. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, traffic down here is not getting heavy enough to... This is all staying clear. Probably are putting more people into the circle, but there's plenty of room in there. See, even here, when they back up a little bit, they can get back on there, no problem. All right. Yeah, that's just orange now, not red. Let's 
getting busier there. Up to 84% still. Alright, I think things are moving right along there. Let's see if we can take care of this little problem here. See, it's not a huge problem. They're, uh, they do clear out. I think the problem is it's a two lane. People going left and right. Uh, people going uh, left are blocking the people who are just want to go out right. So I think I need an asymmetrical road there. A uh, two plus one asymmetrical road. Yeah, like a three lane road. I won't be able to have my trees there, but can't have everything. And I want two lanes out, one lane in. Okay, that gives a, splits it up so that people who want to turn right got their own lane. I think that'll probably solve that. Uh, we have people crossing there too. That could be a problem. Let's put in a uh, pedestrian crossing. That automatically got rid of the uh, crosswalks. I do believe it did. Let's uh, take a look here. Yeah, automatically turned off the crosswalks. Uh, we do want to uh, allow the people on the highway to go through unimpeded. Yeah, let's see what that does. You'll have a lot of vehicles crossing over there. see it's sort of pulsing because there's not always a lot of traffic there. In fact, it's clearing up a bit here. You get stuff like these trucks, they gotta wait a long time for uh, vehicles to cross. Almost makes me wonder if it's worthwhile having another traffic circle further down here just for general purposes of uh, blocking people from crossing over here. Although traffic's not not that heavy down here. This area is actually cleared more than these. Yeah, we're up to 85% with uh, despawning off. See, our train lines are really busy. It looks like we got some jam ups going on here. Oh yeah, we got problems. We got troubles right here in River City. Trains are backing up. Yep, we got a traffic jam. On the train lines. Hasn't gone off the map yet. But will soon. So we're going to have to take care of that. Immediately. If not sooner. So I think I will call this an episode at this point. And, uh... Next episode, I'll concentrate on fixing our train problems. We got lots and lots and lots of trains. And I think the big problem is uh, generally uh, mixing your cargo and passenger um, 
using the same set of tracks. Um, we may have to go in and put uh, separate sets of tracks down for for everything. In other words, not having uh, our cargo here using our passengers. We should run a secondary line just for the passenger terminal and another line f for the freight. And the same thing goes all the way out here. And it's not that big deal to plump down another set of tracks. Um, costs money, but we're running on infinite money at the moment. We still haven't gotten into the green, but that will come eventually when we have enough people in the city. We're still a fairly small town. Um, in real life, you wouldn't have uh, put down all these uh, five-star, four-star uh, industries with this few people. You'd have that up over 100, 100K easily. We jumped the gun. But, uh, Sooner than later, we will get to the point where we're making money. But for now, next episode, train fixing time. As always, thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again tomorrow.